Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing the July 2018 DVD and Blu-ray update video for you guys, and also vinyl. So I've gotten a couple of vinyl records that I don't really have another place to show them, so I figured I would do it in this video, but I've gotten a lot of stuff this month. <laughs> like, it is a lot more than I was expecting, so... Uh, it's kind of like Christmas in July, so let's get into what I picked up. So for some odd reason, Dollar Tree has been, they've had two DVD and Blu-ray sales the, the summer since I've been home. Well, three because the other one was in May, but they had one in June and then they also had one in July. So that was weird, but I also got to pick up some cheap movies, so... These are the DVDs. The first one that I picked up is an animated movie called Under Wraps. Now this has Drake Bell, Brooke Shields, and Matthew Lillard are voices in it and it looks like it has, it's obviously about Egypt, so that's really cool. I am a big fan of Egypt and mummies and things like that, so I figured I would definitely pick that up and give it a watch. Also from the Dollar Tree is a movie called Walkout. And I don't know a whole lot about this, but it is an HBO film, and it is, oh, what's her name? Her name is Alexa Pentavega. Um, that's her, well, Alexa Vega, and uh, since she got married, her name is now Alexis Pentavega. So, that's really cool. I also picked this one up because this is, uh, this was an interesting one. This is an ESPN original movie, and this is called Code Breakers. And honestly, you know what really intrigued me was these like uniforms that these guys are wearing. Um, I believe this is a football movie, but these definitely don't look like football uniforms. So that really kind of intrigued me. So for a dollar, I figured I would definitely pick it up. This one was just kind of like, don't know if I necessarily really want, but I figured I would test it out anyway because sometimes these indie movies are actually really good. So this is Colin Hart's K. And this one seemed pretty interesting as well. For, at first I thought, and you'll know from the, like the front, it kind of looks like a workout DVD. This is actually a foreign film. I figured I would pick it up because uh, I don't have enough foreign films in my collection. So this is called Desert Dancer. And doesn't this cover just look like it is a some sort of workout DVD? But I think that the, it looks pretty interesting. So definitely pick it up. I went on vacation earlier this month to South Carolina, Charleston to be exact. And I ended up going to a lot of uh, thrift stores and stuff like that. And I found this one at it and it really intrigued me so I picked it up. It's in really good condition but this is called The Mystery of the Wax Museum and I don't know if it'll focus but on the bottom right here it says it's a promotional copy not intended for resale or something else. Redistribution. So I don't know what that's about. Um, I tried to look this up and this appears to be the only kind of release that you could get. That, so that was interesting. Definitely think I will give this a watch at some point. Um, also from a thrift store in Charleston is the Batman Superman movie. So I've been getting a little bit more into the DC animated universe and I saw this and it was in really good condition so I figured I would pick it up. This one is also from a thrift store in South Carolina. I remember when I was younger and I'd be flipping through channels, this would be on Adult Swim and I thought it was so stupid. But you never know, I think that I'm going to give it a watch and see if maybe I just didn't understand it. But this was, this was only $2 and this was so cheap. This is the Aqua Teen Hunger Force Volume 1. I looked this up on Amazon and right now you can buy it for like $25. So. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal. The outer packaging is a little, uh, a little worn, but for $2, the discs itself are in great condition. 
Um, I picked this up at a Big Lots because, oh, it was the, they had their 20% off sale and then I also had a coupon for $5 off of 15. So I was looking for things to get and I got this. I'm also kind of getting into the Lego movies. So this is Lego The Adventures of Clutch Power. So there is that one. Never heard of this, but it is apparently the first Lego movie on DVD, so that was really cool. And uh, it was been, it's been a while since I've picked one up, but I mentioned a while ago that I was wanting to get all of the current Disney Channel original movies on DVD. Um, on physical media at least, and I know there are a lot that don't have it, which I wish Disney would put them out, but I ended up picking this one up at a like a local antique store for $2, and this is a Jump In Freestyle Edition, and I it did come with the slipcover, so that was really cool, and I'm glad that I was able to pick this one up. Um, I definitely remember watching that and was really happy with this. This is an upgrade to my collection and I recently sold the two that I had in my collection from the series. So I picked this one up and this is The Amanda Show, The Best of Season 1. So I was, this is one of those um, burn on demand discs that Amazon puts out and uh, this is the only way that you can get the show other than the two releases that I had, but they only had select episodes, so they put out the best of the first season, which I wasn't really, I didn't really understand why, but then I went on and looked up the episodes in this thing, and it appears that the episodes that they did not include were ones that had, like, musical guests, and I'm guessing that they couldn't get the license for the music or whatever, or come to a deal with them. So we only got those, but the entire second season is complete and I will have to be getting that pretty soon as well. But I definitely love the show and I look forward to going back down a nostalgic path. So let's get into the vinyl that I picked up this month. and. So this one is actually from a thrift shop, so this one was only 50 cents, and this is the original soundtrack to the movie Flashdance. So I only know, I know two songs from this soundtrack, so that was part of the reason why I, I bought it. Uh, so I knew Flashdance, What a Feeling, and I also knew Maniac. So I definitely wanted to listen to some other ones. This was a, I believe this movie came out in 1983, so I can get a little bit more experience and knowledge into the music of the 1980s. So then I have some more current stuff. So this one, actually, I got at Target, and for whatever reason, all of their vinyl records were pretty much on clearance. So this one was only, I think it was $12. So this is the vinyl record for Pink Beautiful Trauma. So I mainly bought this because I was, for a second, I was obsessed with that Beautiful Trauma song. I really liked it. I did listen to this entire thing already. And um, I really, obviously, I really liked Beautiful Trauma. And I also really enjoyed Revenge featuring Eminem. So we have this. This is the back side of it. It is a two um, vinyl record. This is the inside, which I'm not really a big fan of that. So that image. But uh, we also, this also came with a digital code to redeem the songs digitally. The only thing is that sucks is you can't do it on like iTunes or something, so you just have to download the songs onto your computer, which I mean is alright, but I would rather have it on like iTunes, have the iTunes album. It also came with this, which I think is the first time I've gotten one of these, and it has all the songs and lyrics to these songs on it. And then this one I also picked up, this one is actually going to be for my birthday, so I haven't been able to open it or listen to it. But this is Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. So this one was on clearance for $12.48. So really happy with this one. 
Um, I definitely wanted to pick it up. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of songs by Bruce Springsteen, but I do know that uh, Born in the USA, so definitely wanted to pick that one up. So it turns out that the video was going to be too long to keep them all together, so what I'm doing is splitting it up. So this was just the DVDs and vinyl. And then the Blu-ray will be on its own video, and I will put a little iCard to that up in the corner, so you can click right onto that after you're done watching this one. Thank you guys, and have a great day. Bye.